Music and life to the full. X Rhythms. Hey guys, and welcome to the video. With World Peace Day being last week, I thought it'd be the perfect time to look at one of the many inventions created in the duty of bringing world peace. The Spitfire. So join me as we look at the origins of this aircraft and its crucial role in World War II. Stick around. So it all started here, Butt Lane, Talk, Stoke-on-Trent. Born 20th of May, 1895, Reginald Mitchell designed the Spitfire. Based on the springtime flight display and stubby rounded wings of a lap wing, the first prototype was released on the 5th of March, 1936. Powered by a Rolls-Royce Merlin engine and equipped with eight machine guns, the aircraft was a real fighting machine. The Spitfire's famous elliptical wing with sunken rivets gave the aircraft the thinnest possible cross-section, resulting in higher top speeds than most other fighters of the time. This plane also had an advantage in one-on-one -on -one battles, as its wings made it one of the most agile fighters in the sky. Sadly though, Reginald Mitchell died in 1937 of cancer, aged only 42. But the Spitfire carried on, as the plane was placed into manufacture in Southampton, and after surviving many bombings in its creation, this plane eventually became crucial to the protection of Allies and the victory at the Battle of Britain, ending in 1940, becoming the symbol of British defiance in the air. you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned a little bit about Spitfire and its origins and how it contributed to world peace and if you want to know more information about the Spitfire then look online or go to your local museum as always guys if you liked the video give it a cheeky thumbs up and if you have any questions about the video that you think we can answer then let us know down in the comments but remember to be respectful. But for now, guys, as always, this is me, Alexander, signing off.